And speaking of warships, three Indian warships have reached the South China Sea with an aim of bolstering maritime alliances with friendly countries in the region. Reports indicating that Southeast Asia has been quite receptive to India's presence, welcoming Indian warships with open arms. They view it as a positive development, as a way of counterbalancing an aggressive China. As experts point out, this move by India is a subtle message to China, highlighting the importance of upholding international maritime laws. The Indian guided missile destroyer INS Delhi, fleet tanker INS Shakti and submarine hunter INS Kiltan are currently stationed in Manila, Philippines. This follows goodwill visits to Singapore, Malaysia and Vietnam. It basically shows India's commitment to strengthening maritime cooperation, and partnerships in the region, something that China has failed to demonstrate time and again. On the 6th of May, the Indian ships arrived in Singapore to strengthen friendship and cooperation. And then on the 12th of May, Indian submarine hunter INS Kilton sailed to Vietnam's Cam Ranh Bay for exchanges and a joint maritime exercise with the Vietnamese, Vietnamese Navy, Navy. The same day, the guided missile destroyer INS Delhi and fleet tanker INS Shakti arrived at Malaysia's Kota Kinabalu to take part in maritime drills. And finally, on the 19th of May, the three Indian warships docked at Manila. The Indian warships visit to the Philippines coming after the first batch of BrahMos missiles from India arrived in the Philippines last month. We told you about this. India has armed Manila with these supersonic cruise missiles so that it can better defend itself amid the tensions in the South China Sea. Here, the Indian and Philippine Navy will take part in an exercise as well as engage in a wide range of professional interactions such as expert exchange, cross-deck visits, cultural visits, community outreach programs. Now here's why this is significant. In the South China Sea, China is locked in a territorial dispute with almost all its neighbors. Recently, maritime run-ins between China and the Philippines have made the strategic South China Sea a global flashpoint in fact. And central to these standoffs are hotly contested features located inside the Philippines' 200 nautical mile exclusive economic zone, which of course China claims as its own. But you see, encounters between the two countries have grown more tense, more frequent over the past year. China has continued to press its claims in the area. The Philippines has refused to seize its rights on its territorial waters. In a bid to assert its claim, China has increasingly turned into a bully, having harassed, chased away, blocked, attacked and damaged Philippine ships and boats with water cannons. China's actions have drawn international condemnation as well as concern from major powers, including India. New Delhi has expressed firm support for the Philippines in defending its national sovereignty, having experienced China's aggression at the Himalayas. India has steadily upgraded defense ties with the Philippines as well as other regional players like Singapore, Indonesia and Vietnam. India regularly holds joint exercises, military exchanges and training programs with them. It is part of a broader strategy to enhance maritime security as well as promote peace and stability in the Indo-Pacific. It's very much in line with India's Act East policy. The Southeast Asian nations are also seeking to expand partnerships with countries like India, especially considering the differences in their capabilities as compared to China. You see, there is a growing acceptance of India's presence among South China Sea littoral nations as a counterbalance to China's increasing grey zone activities. It must be noted, India has been conducting annual bilateral naval exercises with Singapore since 1994 and similar naval cooperation agreements have been established with other Southeast Asian nations as well. Last year, the inaugural ASEAN-India maritime exercise involved nine ships, six aircraft and more than 1,800 personnel from across the bloc's member states. And what's more, India is also building cooperation on other fronts like energy transition, climate change, Additionally, India's Navy has been among the first responders to a number of crises in Southeast Asia, including the catastrophic Indian Ocean, Indian Ocean tsunami of 2004. Could, strength, could strengthen India's relationships with the region and enhance its strategic position.
And the latest deployment of Indian warships to the South China Sea is being seen as a subtle reminder to Beijing. The message that India hopes to send is this. A unified front between like-minded countries is the key to countering Chinese aggression. New Delhi's move is not confrontational. It's simply a signal of international concern regarding violations. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.